Welcome to Camille Jaws. My name is Camille, and since St. Patrick's Day is coming soon, I am going to draw Mr. Potato Head, um, but dressed up as a leprechaun. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to find like the basically the center line of the paper. It doesn't need to be perfect or exact. I don't need to take a rule or anything. I'm going to draw a little line, but I want to make sure that I leave space towards the bottom because I'm going to be drawing Mr. Potato Head some shoes. Same thing on the top, around the center line. I'm gonna draw like a line, but I'm gonna give it a little bit more space. So like here, would say, I would say it's like the halfway point. So like, you know, like four or five fingers away from the middle line. It doesn't need a perfect or exact anything. So I'm just gonna start by just sketching lightly because I'm trying to make the best round shape I can get. The line, you could pass the lines. It doesn't totally matter. Um, I missed it a little bit over here too. I might have to fix the circle anyway, so it's okay. I would say that this is a pretty solid squishy potato head. So I'm actually going to erase him on the left. Um, cause he's a little lopsided. So I'm just gonna try again, but like make him a little more slim. There we go. Same thing with the left, uh, right side. Fix them real quick. Okay. It doesn't need to be perfect or anything, but it circles like more like a rectangle kind of shape. Okay. <clears throat> so once we finish, once you finish the circle, if you still need more time, pause the video. But I'm going to now. Um, draw a straight, like a, basically like a straight line through some of his head. Only a little bit though. It doesn't need to go too far. <clears throat> and then I'm going <clears> to <throat> draw the spirit. Okay, so that's the rim of the hat and then I'm just gonna go straight up that's why I said you need um, <clears throat> to save some space for the hat I can also make this thing a little more slim but it I, I'm gonna fix that thing and well, there's the top of my hat so there you go the top of my hat <clears throat> and then I'm just going to draw a line towards the bottom like close to the rim and then I'm going to stop a little bit less than halfway. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, try and line up the lines. And then in the space between, I'm going to draw a little box. You might need to fix it so it's not as rectangly, but box. And inside the box, we are drawing, going to draw a three leaf clover. Because um, you don't see four leaf clovers that often. So we're going to do, you're going to do a little heart doesn't need to be perfect. Then you could swivel the paper. You, I need to swivel it, but you don't have to. And you start at the point of the other heart, and then you do another little heart. And then you could swivel the paper the other way. I mean, you don't need to swivel the paper anyway. It's just, it's easier for me. There you go. And then put the paper back upright, and draw the little stick for it. Okay. <clears throat> Now we are going to just draw an outline of where I'm going to put his beard. So I'm not coloring it right now because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna color it in with pencil. I'm because I'm saving that for coloring supplies. So about there should be good because I want the beard to like hang off of him a little bit. And he's gonna have more of like a square. He's gonna have like kind of like a V, uh, like a beard that goes into a V, but not so much. <clears throat> I'm gonna fix it so it's more like shat, like a shallow bee. And it could just fly up, it can come off his um, body a little bit. Okay. So next we are going to draw his nose around the center of his mouth. His nose is a little wonky, so it's kind of like wavy, and it just flaps out. Something on the other side. And then I connect the nose at the bottom. 
and I'm not going to connect the nose at the top because <clears throat> it's supposed to be like he's being assembled in pieces. Okay, next are his eyes. His eyes aren't like perfectly circles, so they're just going to be like they're circles, but they're going to be more narrow, like this. And I'll fill that in with Sharpie at the end. Okay, it's okay, it's a little uneven because he is a toy. Well, he's supposed to be a toy. Okay, so next we're going to add his face, like his mustache, like an area to put his mustache and um, a place for his mouth. So like his mouth will be like starting about there and then we'll go to like here. He's going to be a big happy leprechaun, he's just be smiling and everything. And then, so I'm not going to draw it in, like I said, with the pencil for the mustache, but the mustache should go, like, down, down, down. He touches lips a little bit. So kind of, like, in that line area. Okay. Next, we are going to be drawing his little eyebrows. So just big lines. He's got bigger eyebrows. I'm going to have to fix the hat a little bit, so that way the eyebrows don't run into it. Um... <clears throat> And now we're gonna do the ears and like leprechauns have like kind of pointy ears. So we're gonna do some ears that are a little bit pointy. So just go off from like about the bottom of his nose and just kind of go, come up and then we'll come down kind of like an elf ear. Cause that's what leprechauns have. Up and then down. If the like soup like mine are like pretty off, so I'm just gonna erase it real quick, and then I'm gonna try one more time. Um, go. Doesn't matter if they look perfect, just symmetrical. Okay. Looks pretty good. I'll fix it up when I color. Okay. So now one of our final steps is to do the shoes. So the beard will come off his round little body for a little bit. So we're just going to like go down a little bit here. He doesn't have big, like his shoes aren't perfect. So let's draw a long line. And then you'll draw a shorter line. And from that shorter line, you're gonna go and make the body of the shoe. And then there's one shoe. And the same thing with the other side, you're gonna make it symmetrical and you make a long line that matches up. If it goes a little over, you can erase it. But you don't really need to because you'll be coloring it. <clears throat> then you can go from the top to the bottom, doesn't really matter. And then you just curve over. This, the left side is a little bit bigger and I kind of, I don't really like that as much. So I'm going to erase it and I'm just gonna make the little line like a little, sh like a little longer and then like try and narrow out his foot. Like, there, that looks more symmetrical. Okay. And so we are completed with our drawing. I will outline and color um, in f uh, while it's being fast forwarded. So I'm gonna color and outline and I will <clears throat> show you when I'm done. Here's the finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.